Just to let you know, if you hawk twa on my thing, I'm kicking you in your goddamn head. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. There's a specific amount needed for maximum non-friction value. It's not a tobacco spitting contest. Apparently, a generic woman who loves to perform oral pleasures is all the rage all over the damn internet. Luke Bryan invited her up on stage to speak her famous prose. Monica Lewinsky would be rolling over in her cum-stained dress. America is in full decline, folks. If Nancy Reagan knew she would be praised like this, then she would have waited a few decades to start happy hour in the MGM backlots. Ice Spice looks like she lost about 40 pounds. Looking good. With songs like You Think You the Shit, Fart, and Fat Butt, now her weight can match the depth of her music. Now we get to our Victim of the Century Award. Will Smith performed a new song at the BET Awards called You Can Make It, where he tries to gaslight the world into thinking that he was the comedian that got slapped after he got hired to make stupid, harmless jokes while hosting the Oscars. The lyrics read, The darker the hell you gotta endure, the brighter the heaven you get to enjoy. The harder the fall, the higher you soar. God opens a window when the devil closes the door. Believe me, they tried to bleed Will Smith in a rear view. I see adversity was the gift. What a thoughtful tribute to his almost 30 year sentence with Jada Pinkett Smith. Touching. Megan the Stallion revealed that when she became famous that she had to set boundaries for how much she shared with people. This of course doesn't apply to when she's in her SUV munching on some cooch in front of her photographer. That's perfectly fine and should be shared. Especially with me. Sexy Red has her second tour set up called Sexy Red for President. She supposedly only sold about 37% of 85,000 tickets so far for 20 of 23 dates. Sexy Red said that fans are buying tickets just fine and they're not canceling anything. She also said that she's being sabotaged because she decided to go with independent black promoter AG Entertainment. Her previous tour was produced by Live Nation, and she's claiming that the bigger companies are paying websites to lie about her and have her fans get discouraged about buying tickets. I kind of think it's something else. It looks more like she's sending out Morse code instead of it being a music chart. People have been spreading a rumor online that Ariana Grande is, you wouldn't guess it in a million years, a cannibal. This little thing. The closest her mouth has ever gotten to meat is when she used to work on the set of Nickelodeon. I can see this one going over well. That brings us to our wonderful sponsor for the month. Ice Spiceless, the 2-in-1 weight loss and 1 million SPF sunblock cream. When you want to look like you took Ozempic without the coke face, but still look like you bathe in some of the finest Colombian powder in existence. Now I'd like to document a story under the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? BB Rexa said that she's been undermined and punished by the music industry and could bring them down after being so quiet for so long. Yes, undermined and punished to the tune of a successful 14-year music career and an estimated net worth of about $8 million. I just love when people who are let into the club and want for nothing act like the victim. To BB Rexa getting her balls in a bunch and acting like she can be the hero only after it affects her. Who gives a shit? Go crying your enormous Versace bras. For those of you that don't know, Andre 3000 stopped rapping and put out a record of flute songs in 2023. On his new endeavors, he recently said, I don't know what notes I'm playing, to be completely honest. I'm not trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing in a way. I actually don't know what I'm doing and that's part of the art. I've seen it all, folks. Andre 3000 is admitting to be the first abstract instrument player. I think he's taken the same strategy with his acting career, too. Sound the trumpets and ring the bell. Taylor Swift has announced the next single off of her new album, The Tortured Poets Department. It's called, I'm Tired of Hearing About Taylor Swift Every Goddamn Time I Turn Around. At least she's a good dancer. 
Numerous record labels are suing Verizon for $2.6 billion, saying that Verizon has failed to follow through with the record label's requests to boot some Verizon customers from the service after they illegally downloaded music through Verizon's internet service. The record label stated that only they were allowed to steal from their artists. Bob Dylan is implementing a smartphone ban on his upcoming 10-date UK tour this winter. Damon Albarn opposes such a ban, saying, If you start banning things, where does it end? I think you've just got to turn up and do your thing. People won't want to be on their phone if you're engaging with them correctly. Has Damon Albarn ever heard Bob Dylan talk? He speaks like he's eaten more ass than Charmin. Like the thumbnail says, folks, this isn't your mom's news show. Katy Perry said that she's owning her sexuality with her new music. That's a funny way of saying I've been losing popularity and haven't been in the top 40 since 2017, so I have to bounce my tits and ass in your face like the rest of them to try and stay relevant. And finally, Snoop Dogg was one of the final torchbearers at the opening ceremony of the Olympics in July. It marks a historic event being the first time in the history of the world where a black man carrying a long skinny white object with fire and smoke at the end of it was celebrated and not thrown in jail. Very inspiring. Racism is over. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time, I just wanted to apologize to BB Rexa for making fun of her. She's on the verge of bringing down the music industry with all the inside info she has. She just needs some more motivation to release all the secrets. Another 10 features and 10 million more dollars might do it.